Okay, so I'm not going to tell you much about this just for now, but can anyone tell me what these are? Anyone know what these are? Yeah? Pipes. Tubes, pipes, yeah. Uh, drain pipes, the full name for it. Can anyone guess what I'm going to be doing with them? Because it's in my name. Yeah? I'm not going to be fixing them, but it's a good guess. It looks like I will be fixing them. Good guess. Yeah? Say again? Not a bad guess, but I'm not going to be blowing into them. I'd have to have really big lungs to blow into these ones. They're really big. But one more guess. Something on the front there. Yeah? Drumming, there we go. I'm going to do some drumming on some drain pipes. So, before I tell you any more about this, I'm going to do this first song. And whilst I'm playing this song, I want you to try and think of as many interesting questions that you might have for me. So, here we go. Built a very very small version, and after 
five or six years of playing this now, and I'll have a very, very big version of it. Yeah. So who has some more questions before I do another one? Got lots of questions. Yeah. How does it do that? There we go. Okay, so all these drain pipes that I've got here, they're all different lengths. Some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. So if I start this one here, that one's my deepest, lowest note. So do we think that that one would have to be a longer drain pipe or a shorter drain pipe? Who thinks you might know? Yeah? No, no, there's no electrics, there's no nothing, it's purely just the drain pipes. Just the drain pipes, yeah. It does sound like, because it is, I do play dance music, so it's kind of like electronic music. So it sounds like that. But do we think that one's longer or shorter? What do we think? Longer. Longer, exactly, yeah. It's got further to travel, all the sound and the air and the vibration, so eventually come out somewhere in the mess of drain pipes down there. So if we go to this side, what does it mean that side is shorter, longer? Shorter, yeah. Brilliant. So we start from this side, getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Giving me 18 different notes that I can play with, and it just takes so long to get really, really specific for the length for all the notes on this instrument. And that's why it takes so long, just because it can be a little bit out. My first one that I built sounded awful, really, really bad. This one is almost perfect, not quite. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. Very, very simple. Yeah. Yeah, so can anyone tell me what instrument I've kind of built it like? Anyone know what instrument that I've purposely made it like? Yeah. Piano, yeah. So that's why there's black and white pipes. I've made it so it's got like black and white notes, like on a piano. So it goes all the way. Well, you get the white notes. Be nice and quiet so you can hear when I'm going to count you back into the song. So, have a little practice. Here we go. We can do better than that. Excellent. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So, we're going to start off nice and quiet, no clapping in the beginning, and I'll count you in, okay? So, nice and quiet, no clapping yet. Here we go.
we're talking about the drain pipes, and obviously I mentioned I'm a drummer. Can anyone maybe at the front see any other sounds going on? Can we hear any other sounds like that? Yeah? There. Exactly, yeah, there's something on my foot, but now it's under the name of this instrument. Right. Tambourine, excellent, yeah. So more specifically, it's a foot tambourine, so I can have it on the foot, and I can play half of the rhythms just with that leg. Now there's something else that I use, I'd be very impressed if anyone gets the name of this instrument. Who thinks they know? Who knows what this is called? Yeah. You do sit on it, yeah. Do you know the name? It's got a very cool name. Who guesses? Yeah. It is a box and it is a drum, but it's got a more specific name than that. Yeah? Say again? I think you said you said Cajon. Yeah. Cajon, yeah. So this is called a Cajon, well done. Excellent. So I think it has a few different names, but Cajon is the one I know, right? For this instrument, like I said, you sit down to play it. You've got a snare drum at the top. You've got a bass drum in the middle. It's not like play like... I'm not the best at that, and I have something else that I use to help me play it, so I've got my hands free. Do we know what this piece of equipment's called? Yeah? So I do put my foot on it, puts in the name. That's what it does, and we know the name for it. Or someone at the back. Say again. It is a pedal, but there's lots of pedals in the world. Do we know more specific? Say again. Foot pedal, there we go. Put foot from there, foot pedal from over there, foot pedal, brilliant. So you can also call it a bass pedal or a kick pedal. Normally goes on a kick drum or bass drum. I put mine, I put mine backwards so I can play all the different rhythms used to using my feet, so I've got my hands free to play that part. So I give you an example. Um, and it just means that I don't need any electrics for a backing track. I don't need another drummer here to do that part on it. I can do all of it, all in one go, <laughs> by myself. So it's a lot of fun. It's extra exercise for me, which is also fun as well. Okay, so now we know the drum inside. We're going to do another song, okay? But for this one, I'm going to play some covers. So if you recognise any of these ones, make sure you don't shout them out, because at the end, we're going to see who can guess them with his hands on. Okay? Okay, so. Here we go. See if you can guess them all. At the end.
gonna start from the beginning, okay? Playing all my songs, 
and seeing how you, you guys react to it. And so far things going very well. Well, practice, practice, practice. That's all you have to do. Oh. Say again? It is very hard to play it because you kind of have to know a little bit of piano skills. So you've got the melody part and then lots of percussion skills. So all I'm doing is pretty much playing rhythms on top of it, but just recognizing where the nice sort of melodies are. But yeah, lots and lots of practice. You can play anything. Okay, so we're gonna do another one of my originals, okay? We're gonna do it again where if the hand goes up, we're nice and quiet, so you can see here what I'm gonna count you in. So Start off nice and quiet, and I'll count you in, okay? Here we go. No clapping just yet. Here we go. Do so, and I can do that. I'm not going to play any 
covers that you might ask me now, because I'm not that talented, I'm not that good. I do need time to practice the covers that I'm going to play, um, but that's why I'm a drummer. I can play any drum rhythm you want, you just won't recognise it because it doesn't have the melody bit. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Say again? Um, because it's very physical playing this instrument, especially when everyone's clapping, I have to play even louder. So, um, and obviously I've got this leg going, this leg going, both my hands going, my head going all over the place, so I need to make sure I keep hydrated because I've got another two schools to go to today. So lots and lots of exercise. Yeah. Say again. Question. It depends on what key I'm playing in. So all songs are all written in different keys. So it's much easier to... I don't know, because you've got sort of... I don't know the music terminology for this stuff, but... You know, well, that's a scale. So there's lots of different ways you can play the notes. And, um, yeah, I don't really know how to describe that. Yeah. See, <laughs> this is the thing with me, because obviously I play drums. I can play it, I just don't know what I'm playing. Yeah. <laughs> so, something that I need to learn is actually what I'm playing. I can explain the rhythms to you, but not quite what all the notes do. Something I need to learn on. Uh, a couple more, yeah? Why do you put the thing on your flip-flops? Great question. The reason why is sometimes the flip-flops get a little bit too, too flexible. So that is mainly just to keep them a bit more sturdy. So it's not, you know, fully, fully flexing or some plane. Otherwise, you don't get as much power out of them. But, well done for noticing. Okay, so, I think, um, yeah, we've just got time for this last song, okay? So I'm going to play some dance classics, and I can guarantee you'll all be singing the last one that I play. So, hope you have enjoyed the session today. Hope you had a lot of fun. Hope you learned a little bit about my instrument and what I do. And we're just going to go for it for this last one. So we're going to go straight into it. So here we go. Three, two, one.
God made me one promise. You must not go home and start taking your pipes apart under your kitchen <laughs> to make your own. Okay. But if you've got any old bits of pipes lying around, I'd be really interested to see if you could make your own instrument and bring it in and show me. So there's a challenge, okay? But you mustn't take the pipes apart at home because I think mums and dads might not be very pleased. So can we give one last big round, St Stephen's round of applause?